Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay, we get to go to Costco. And that's a grocery store. And I just love grocery stores. I don't. But I love the person I'm going with. So let's go do this. It's not going to... Ow. I just banged the door. Oops. Somebody parked really close to a bench. All right. Let's go get this done. Oy, oy, oy. So I'm at Costco following. And this is the most boring thing ever. And I've only been here for about five minutes. Already can't handle all this lots of stuff everywhere and I think now it's time for me to go have a break it's hard to maneuver here and get around people well roadblocks everywhere gotta use the signal lights oh it's windy in here oh Sorry, did I hit you? <laughs> yeah. You're in the way. Why are you running me over? Sometimes people get in the way, you gotta run them over. <laughs> That's not polite, don't do that. Didn't I say it was time for a break already? <clears throat> What's that? Spinach. Spinach. Gotta get my Popeye on. So, I'm really impressed with how good these drivers are here. Look at these maneuvers. Okay, never mind. People get in the tight spaces all the time, no problem. Me, I can't Shopping drive very good. In a place like this is a test of character and patience. I lost. Okay, I got a license for this thing. <laughs> oh, Debbie, do you know where you're going? You're making so this very difficult. An accident over there. I almost <laughs> ran over a little kid with a cart, and some lady looked at me funny. So I think it's time I wrap this up. So the funny thing is, I get a lot of smile and nods. I talk to somebody and they, they think I'm kind of a lunatic, so they just smile and nod. It's getting a little ridiculous, all this shopping stuff, so I might have to uh, take a time out. Yes, my patience is being put to the test today because well, as I'm in a store with lots of stuff and I don't like lots of stuff. Of course, I do like this, this stuff. stuff. Always good. That's yummy. Basically, like that any stuff. of this stuff. I like all that stuff. That's pretty good. Hey, I even like these burritos. I was getting in the way at the ice cream part, so I was told to just wait here. This is what happens when you come shopping. You get told to wait. Now I'm waiting. Is this done yet? Oh. <laughs> Somebody put a post in the way. Let's try to get the. Oh, okay. We're... Thank you for your help, ma'am. <laughs> I've had my license revoked, so now I'm having help with the cart being pulled. Yes, it does. Where? Whoa, I the oh, thanks for the help. Seasoning salt. At this point, I can do without seasoning salt. If that means I can leave here earlier.
Okay, it's time for a rest. Here, you can have this car. I'm gonna go and find a place to sleep. Are you gonna get a hot dog? Well, maybe I'll get a hot dog. She tried to suck me in to stay longer with a hot dog. I'm not getting a hot dog, I'm going to find a place to sit. What's a guy gotta do to find a couch around here? Ha <laughs> ha, found one. Oh. oh. This is my kind of shopping. I sit here and rest while Debbie does all the work. But I don't know how long I can just sleep here. <coughs> Just hanging out in Costco on the couch, tired. Was gonna get a hot dog, but I'd rather just go. So I figure if I wait here and show how hard I'm trying, then maybe we get to leave sooner. I'll talk to you at the till. <laughs> I guess my plan worked. She's at the till, so it's time to go to the till now. <laughs> now trying to find her in all of this. Oh, I think I see her. All oh, this till, no worries. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Okay. Now I'm waiting again. And what do we have here? Do I want to play? Yes. All right, let's get some money out. Well, that was fun. I put my money. Hey, don't do that. Strange people come and pinch my butt here all the time. Well, that looks like a good hot dog. Hey, quick grab on my cart. <laughs> oh, supervisor was called. Somebody's in trouble. Somebody might be filming in the store. <laughs> I can see the exit. This is good. The exit is coming. But I lost the receipt. <laughs> okay, fine. Just get me to that exit. Do you even know what you're doing? That looks hard. There's light. We've made it. We've escaped. Uh, <laughs> wasn't that bad, she said. Let's go to the store, she said. There won't be lots of people, she said. You won't have a heart attack, she said. There weren't a lot of people. Yes, there was a lot of people. <laughs> what did you say? Speaking, there were not a lot of people. Six, six, five, four, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is crazy, mother. Keep up with me if you can. Yeah, you made it. Oh, you made Man, 
I need a break, okay? I'm gonna retire for the morning and have a break right here at this lovely table. I gotta help her lift something now. What's that? You said hello? Okay, can you hold this? Hey, do you want me to put it in the back? <laughs> no problem. Whoa! Okay, cut it out. So, here's the thing. You know, I have a problem. You know, it's starting to weigh down on me. We go to these big shopping centers, you know, and I see all this stuff. And I sometimes wonder if we've just missed it in life. We just go to a big box store. Now, don't get me wrong, because I'm supporting the machine, right? Here I am, just getting involved in this building, you know, and I wonder what it would be like, you know, if we got rid of money and we we're all just like farmers or something, hunters, fishermen, bakers. I don't know. I go to the baker and I trade some fish for some bread. You know, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Or the guy who likes to go hunting and he's got some meat and I trade that for some of the garden vegetables I grew, you know, and this guy's a carpenter so he comes over and helps me with carpentry and then I help him, you know, build a, I, I don't know, put some wheels on his car because I know wheels. Does that make sense? Like, just going to the store and, you know, just buying stuff. I don't know about all this, but it is what it is, right? It's like that age-old question, how, how do you you know, be part of the system without being part of the system. I don't know. Shopping sucks. So, like I was saying at the picnic table, you know, we went shopping today, and I don't even know how to put words to what I'm feeling, but lately as my life has been, you know, changing, I just been seeing the world differently. And, and I don't know what it looks like yet. I, I believe that there's life after death. I believe in the big guy upstairs. I believe that, you know, when you die out of this body, you know, your spirit goes, whatever you call it, heaven, Elysium, eternity, you know, but <coughs> as long as we're in this body, we're, we're part of the world system, you know, and unfortunately the world for the most part operates on the monetary system, finances, money, and I don't know how I feel about going to these big box stores and and yet I have to, right? I mean, I have to have a job. I have to make money to be able to support my family and to pay bills and stuff. But sometimes I wonder if the simple life wouldn't be just, you know, buying a piece of land somewhere, hunt, fish, gather, step back the way I think we used to live life. I think we passed the point in history where you know, it was like the pinnacle. It's like, if this is where peace and love and joy and happiness was, I think we came up, little house on the prairie, and then we passed it. Now we're like going into the future. And I don't know if it's any better with more technology, more stores, more products. I mean, you think about where we get most of the products in these rich countries that I live in. I live in a rich country, you know, and you think about other countries around the world that have no jurisdictions on kids, older people working in factories, not being paid a fair wage, and everything from the coffee we drink to the clothes on our back, you know? How far do you have to travel down the things that you do every day to see how you're influencing the big machine? You know, I call the big machine basically like the world system. And I don't know, I guess, Part of making these YouTube videos is me figuring out how to live in the world and not be like of the world. So anyways, food for thought. And I don't know if there were any real solid nuggets of truth there, but just to let you know, I, I, I'm aware that something's happening in my life. I don't wanna be advocating a system where money rules all. And that's, that's really the thing is, I think people believe money is power. And I think money makes people cautious. 
and uh, I just as soon have a plate of, you know, potatoes and nice glass of water and have peace, love, and joy in my life than to have lobster and steak and fine wine and eat with kings and have all this tension about money and and this and that and bills and getting stuff and man <sighs> okay talk to y'all later peace out